Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. What messages do you have for the collective? All right, first card out we have is phone call. So with the Mercury retrograde in full effect and, you know, retrograding and all that jazz, you have people that are going to want to come up and people that are want going to want to express themselves or even communicate. So communication has kind of been the theme coming in here, but your person had to go through this process, process of grieving or process of, you know, them being angry at you for you being angry at them, um, you setting certain boundaries, whatever it may be. But th there is somebody that wants to come forward and they want to have a talk. They want to be open and honest about whatever they want to communicate. There's something here about this person um, watching you from afar, because I feel like this is a very, um, deliberate and specific time that they want to communicate to you. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like this person is either looking at a schedule or looking at a clock. So it, it is very pinpointed when they want to reach out to you. And this is an energy where they are being very, very careful to take aim. They're very, very focused. And I feel like when this person comes forward, there is some type of strategy that they're implementing, but they're also going to be somebody that's like a straight shooter. I don't know why, but they're showing me, um, they're showing me like an archer, which I think is very interesting, but this is somebody that wants to open up. And this is somebody that wants to have a talk with you. This is somebody that feels like there's a lot of water that's gone under the bridge, a lot that's not been expressed, a lot that's not been explained. And they feel like you deserve to know the entire picture and that you deserve to know exactly why they did what they did. Because this is somebody that feels very guilty for their behavior or very guilty for their actions towards you. And they've never really opened up and expressed that is what, it, what it's coming in as. But they want to open up and they want to have this, this conversation for some reason. And it's about them also coming forward and telling you how they're cleaning up their life or the actions and steps that they're taking in order to implement some type of new structure or new routine in their life. It's about this person like getting rid of their distractions, making healthier choices, and they're also saying too that if you're not in an energy where you're ready to take this person back, I feel like this person is going to be communicating to you that I'm going to be waiting for you and I'm not going to leave you alone and I'm going to fight for you. For some of you, they may feel like they have to fight for your love. We have curse coming out here. Whoever this person was dealing with their ex, because I do feel like it's their ex, even if this person is delusional and makes certain assumptions there was a conversation between your person and somebody that they were dealing with where they had to draw like a hard line in the sand. And I feel like with this energy, and I don't know why it's coming in in this reading, but this could be something that your person is communicating to you pertaining to a past relationship. So either the damage that a past relationship has done to this person um, that was making it challenging or hard for this person to move forward <clears throat> or this could be this person, you know, telling you what they actually said to a third party. For those of you that are not dealing with a third party situation, because not everybody is, your person feels like they've had a lot of really bad relationships and that people in relationships tend to be very manipulative. They try to manipulate this person, but X is on the card. So I also feel like too, their ex was trying to come back into play here and they were trying to manipulate them in some sense to believe either something about you or why they were the better choice <clears throat> over you. And I feel like with this person, especially coming in with this addiction energy, foolish, I'm going to put this over the top so I don't get in trouble with YouTube, with this... Um, energy, there was certain things, there was a level of toxicity that your person was used to. And in order to be with you, this person had to elevate. In order to be with you, this person had to cut away certain things and places and people that didn't serve their higher good. 
This is somebody that was foolish and very careless with your heart. They played a lot of games. They had a lot of bad habits or destructive um, behavior that stopped them from coming, cl coming close to you. This is also this ex's energy. Like this ex would rather keep your person in a sense of temptation and a sense of confusion and an end in a sense of illusion than to have this person be able to think for themselves because they know that whoever this person is, they were trying to dictate who they were. Especially with this clown energy. Whoever this person is, it's like they feel, I just heard like, I feel so stupid. Because this person is beginning to awake up, beginning to awaken. And I feel like whatever energy was around you, they were trying to depict you as a negative one. They were trying to depict you as the one that was very manipulative. And that wasn't the case. Even with people in this person's family, right? It, it, it could even be a mother or a sister or whatever. It was somebody in order to try to keep the narrative between you and them, something that was very strained and meant to keep you at a distance from this person. And now they're sitting here and they're feeling foolish. They're sitting here and they're realizing they've cursed themselves in this connection with you because of their own toxicity, because of their own energies that they were never meant to be in or that they were never meant to participate in. I feel like this person, they also may be sick or getting sick, or getting over being sick. I see like this person has heavy eye bags, or almost like this red nose, aside from them acting like a clown. Especially with this search energy coming in. Your person is also searching for um, complete confirmation, or an energy trying to understand what exactly is going on with you. They also may, for some of you, have found in somebody else's search history that they were watching you or that they were looking at you. And now that's why they feel foolish. Because the entire time, there even may have been somebody that was doing something as far as, you know, when I say black magic, some people are into that. But it's a very small number, right? But whoever this person is, regardless there was somebody here that was manipulating the energy, energy manipulation and however you want to slice it, dice it and rub it down. There was somebody that was manipulating your person into believing certain things about you that were untrue. But now your person has this proof. Now your person feels like a total clown because they believed all of this other energy behind this, this clown card and that's why they feel like they're cursed. They feel like you're never going to take them back for whatever they've done. And this is somebody also that I feel like in your connection, if there was any type of hiccup or any time that you questioned this person or any time that, you know, you wanted to say something to them, they would turn a mountain into a molehill and everything would explode or break up. Because they were always exaggerating the minor issues in order to not give you the truth or in order to not give you a certain type of understanding with exactly this uh, toxic behavior underneath here. I also feel like they're sitting there and they're watching you and they're waiting. And you may be over here with this energy of your boundaries. So you're setting very, very strong boundaries when it comes to this person. You're saying you're setting certain boundaries where if you're not completely healed, if if you've not left behind a third party or left behind any type of toxic behavior, if you're not in rehab, if you're not seeing a therapist, if you're not doing certain things that are necessary in order for your elevated purpose, in order for you to learn the lesson of the divine, you need to stay away from me. And I feel like your person is searching for something. And they want to show you proof is also what I heard about the what, you know, what they learned. This person learned something about a karmic energy. So again, karmic can be a third party. A karmic can be a negative. It, it's a negative influence in this person's life. So when I say karmic, that's what I mean. It's somebody that's negative in this person's life that is interfering in the connection, it's interfering in this person from elevating. 
So they learned some type of proof here. I'm actually really excited to get into the tarot because I want to know, like, what did they learn? What do they want to say to you? Because this person is also in this energy where they're paralyzed to come forward. They're scared to come forward. They're scared to, you know, um, come forward and be honest because they're worried that now you're going to be the energy where you're cold and you're turning your back. It's almost like something like the tables have turned. Show me. Something about the tables turning in this connection. And I feel like whoever your person is, or whoever they were dealing with, they were very delusional, but then they would project that level of delusion on your person, excuse me, and try to have your person believe their delusion. But again, it's almost like your person is living in a circus. So they're in this, they're, they're in the haunted house, in the fun house mirror. So whatever delusions and illusions that these karmic energies, and it could be more than one, it could be even be a friend group that are projecting on your connection or projecting to your person because they're looking at themselves in the mirror, everything is distorted. But see, the one thing that they couldn't change is the fact that your person really does love you. No one compares to you. First true love, new love experience. So a lot of you, just so you know, you know, the way that you love this person and the way that they love you, the intensity, what's happened here is it's been used against you. It's been used in the sense of, you know, that's not right. That's that's a level of infatuation. It's not what it seems like it is or whatever they're saying. It's like they tried to use the fact of how you how your love was very different from them, how it didn't compare to anybody. And, and for your person, whatever, whoever was in their ear talking, because I do get that there was people talking. They deterred this person from coming forward and making certain amends or taking certain steps to make things right with you. This person, if you guys live close, they want to come to your house. They may have even moved or they want to move. They want to move in with you. And the reason for that is like they they feel like you're home. There's something also about the holidays wanting to come home for the holidays or wanting to bring you home for the holidays or maybe you wanted them to come with you for the holidays. But there's something here about this person wanting to let you know that they're not that they're no longer in a situation that they were in prior. Interesting. They could have even recently moved. But I'm getting that whoever you're dealing with, they're going through this major love activation. And if this person isn't changing, right, because there's a lot of people that are watching, changing locations, moving, whatever it may be, this person is somebody um, that feels like you're home, like they know that you are home to them and they want to come back to where they feel the most stable, where they feel the most cared for, like where they feel safe, right? You feel safe in your home. The thing about you is no matter what you do, you've always made your house a home. You've always made your relationship, you know, a sense of love. And that's something very beautiful that you have the alchemy in order to do. You have the alchemy in order to change something into nothing. This is something that this person is recognizing very, very clearly. And they had to go through this deep, dark night of the soul, right? We've been talking about this. In order for them to be able to open up their heart chakra, right? In order for them to be able to love, they had to open things up. You do have somebody here that is watching you and stalking you very, very closely. And this is somebody that, again, with this shocking event, there was something that happened with this person that kind of came out of nowhere. The one word, okay, for the 12 days of giving, I want you guys to put in the comment section, love, okay? And then your favorite emoji. This person is in love with you. They 100% are. But you know what? Whoever this person is, they've had a lot of really, really hard things happen to them. A lot of bad things happen to them. And some people will say that it's an excuse. And you're right. We all have the ability to react or how how we put ourselves out there but at the same point in time 
you also, if you are an elevated energy, you also understand that sometimes things are out of our control until it's brought into our perspective where we have to handle it. No one is perfect. No one in glass houses should be throwing rocks. And I promise you, the people that are negative, there's a lot of work that has to be done. We all have work to do. Nobody is perfect. So if you've met this person, it's because there's some energy that the two of you guys were mirroring one another. People don't want to acknowledge that though, but that's the truth. But there's something here that's occurring with this shocking event. I don't know what's going on. This reading was off the hook. I wasn't even going to do it this morning. But my guides were like, get up and record. My son has been sick for a little bit, so I've been kind of like in mommy mode. So I apologize for any of you guys that have booked readings with me. Please be patient. But there's some type of shocking event, and whatever this person found, it's like there's some type of surprise or something unexpected that they didn't see coming here. This is somebody that's watching you very closely. There's something that they're leaving behind. They're cutting ties or they are separating with some type of friend group, some type of whatever, whoever they've been going in circles with for a period of time. I even feel like it's their family that's negative. Their family has a negative viewpoint or a negative perspective on who they are and who they should be. Like this is somebody that feels like I'm going to control the narrative. And this is an energy where, you know, again, okay, they just said to me, your person is also shocked that you severed ties with them the way that you did. This person is surprised that you were like, enough is enough. I'm going to leave before it gets worse. But also at the same point in time, I feel like your person is waiting for you to come back. There's something, I'm telling you, there's something weird going on here. Look, with this karmic connection, whatever past life issues your person had, it's like they've been waiting to cut this person out, but they're doing it. See, they've been holding on to it, but there's something that this person found recently where they're like, enough is enough. I think that they found something somewhere. They heard something or they found something about somebody lying. I can't wait to get into this. I cannot wait to get into the tarot. What other messages do you have for us? Um... Yeah, see, they're learning a major lesson on you. Lesson learned, shift in perspective, raising their vibration because they're sorry. They're sorry for not believing you. They're sorry for not taking you serious. They're sorry for treating you like they treated everybody else. This is somebody that has this confession that wants to come back to ground zero wants to go back to the beginning they also understand too roses are beautiful they smell amazing but roses hurt they know that they've hurt you in this connection and for some of you they're feeling the hurt and pain of you leaving or you not being present or the remembering a certain time so if you and them would do something during the holidays it's like this person is remembering this time of the plans you made even if you guys have been together or whatever, and if and if you haven't, it's like this person feels like they made you some type of promise to do something and they feel very, very guilty for not coming forward and doing it. I feel like there's a lot of chaos right now. A lot of uncertainty and a lot of confusion. Your person is very depressed. There definitely could have been spell work used in this. Or it's just somebody that's been manipulating the outcome. Part of your person's problem is they're the victim. It's always everybody else's fault instead of their own. When they need to take a look in the mirror and acknowledge that they have control, the only person that has control over their life is them. 
And if they feel out of control, they should be on their knees praying to God, asking God for a level of clarity and a level of understanding. Because right now with this depression, they're depressed because there's no forward movement in your connection because there is a stall. There's a stall because this person has to come forward and they have to apologize about whatever they've recently seen. They have to come forward and they have to mend this relationship. And they have to make a sacrifice. It's like hangman energy, right? This person has to make a sacrifice. They have to give something up. If they want to complete this healing, if they want to mend things with you, and again, whatever is broken, your relationship is never going to go back to the way that it was, and that's okay. But they still have to put forth the energy necessary and needed in order to heal this situation with you, and they're going to continue to be in a dark place until they make amends because they know that they were wrong. They have the proof that they were foolish. That they were the ones that cursed the relationship. You can blame it on, you know, Larry, Moe, and Curly or whoever, you know, that it's their fault with why I did what I did. But at the end of the day, the buck stops with them. So the karmic energy that's coming in, you know, a lot of times I think we as a collective will get upset at the karmic, but at the same point in time, if your person was strong enough and in their light, they would be able to see that the karmic is a clown, be able to see that the karmic is lying, to be able to see that the karmic is a hot mess. But their vibration is attracted to that. So until they elevate their vibration, they're going to be stuck in downtown, you know, clownville. But I feel like with your person... It's no longer fun for them to be in this low vibrational energy. They're depressed. They're tired of watching you, stalking you. They're worried that you're moving on. But there's some major sacrifice that they have to make, not only for you, but also for themselves in order to create this sense of healing. For them to move forward. Bane lady, you may have been in a situation where there was other people involved. But this person has made their choice and their choice is you. They don't want any interference here. They want to be able to love you the way that you deserve to be loved. If for a lot of you, this person lied about your connection to themselves and to other people. They may have said that they needed to work or focus on their work or whatever it may be. But your person is ready to heal things with you. They want to take you out. For some of you, they, they want to marry you. They see a future with you. This is about them needing to take things to the next level. But this is they choose you. But they also feel like they're going against time here in this separation because they had somebody in their corner that they thought was their friend, but in reality, they had bad intentions. There was people that were talking and gossiping about your situation, about your relationship, about the way that you do things. There's a reason why either you ghosted them or they ghosted you. And it's because there's a lot of people that are in your relationship that you don't even realize. These are people that you may have never even met. People that don't even know you, you know, off the street. But this is some, there, there's people that are talking about you. Imagine being talked about in rooms where you've never met anybody. And you're just over there minding your own business, you know, just living your best life. But there's a lot of people with your name in their mouth. That's what I'm getting overwhelmingly for some reason. All right, let's see. Let's get into this. By the way, in order to enter in the 12 days of giving, this is day number eight. You have to make sure you add the word in the comment section. Okay, guys, not in the live chat, in the comment section. Um, add love and then your favorite emoji or whatever else. As long as you include the word love, you have to make sure you like the video. 
you have to be subscribed to my channel. Sometimes there's winners where they win, but they're not subscribed. So guess what? They kind of lose. So, and then also check out my Instagram, Spiritual Infusion 1111. Um, all right, let's get into this. So what, what is, what is the, first of all, what does this person feel foolish about? Let, let's get into this. I, I, I'm in my nosy era right now. What is this person feeling foolish for? Justice. Woo, for the scales being balanced. You want to know why justice is dope? Because things are changing, okay? The wheel of fortune has changed. Now, all of a sudden, especially if you are not in this person's life, they're beginning to see who the issue was, who the issues were in their life. They're beginning to see all the information. See, when you go to, when you go to court, everything is put out in front of everybody. All the documentation, all the information, all of the car facts, everything is laid out on the table and here it is. Your person is having proof with the fact that whatever was said to them in this moon energy was a lie, was to keep them stuck, was to keep them confused because the reality is this person really does love you. And this person is seeing that. This person is realizing that your connection is something that they've never felt before. That this is something where they are really in love with you. They may have love for somebody, but having love for somebody, wanting them to do well, you know, e even somebody that screwed me over, I still, I still love them. I'll have love for them, but I'll never deal with them ever again. I wish you well, you know, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. But as far as me and you are concerned, it's, it's a wrap, right? It's like, but with you, it's different. You provided a sense of harmony to this person. That's why they want to come forward. That's why they want to reconcile things. This may be somebody that has either purchased you either a ring or something in particular. It's about setting the scales right. It's about coming in and rebalancing the situation. But they had to get proof. They had to know for a fact that you were the one for them. Why? Nine of Cups. Why? This person is emotional. Ace of Cups. It's funny because a lot of the same cards from Wednesday's reading are coming out in today's reading. Because they realize like your intentions were pure. That you are, you have a very pure heart. You are a very pure person. And I feel like with this per with, with your significant other, they're feeling guilty for the way that they treated you. Because you love them wholeheartedly. And with this person, their feelings began to grow with you. But part of the issue with them is that they didn't love themselves. You can't, if you do not love yourself, if you do not have a cup, how can you go to the two of cups? You can't. So this is about this person getting in touch with their emotions that they've repressed since childhood, really putting the work in on what they've been stuck with and making some type of sacrifice. What did they find out? Aside from the fact that they're in love with the collective, what did they find out? I knew it. Oh, I wish I would have said it before it came out. I was like, the five of swords, seven of swords is coming out. They found out that there was somebody that was harassing you on the low. There was somebody that was spiritually attacking you. There was somebody that was in your energy. There was somebody that was lying, that was playing games, that was politicking, right? Politics is a dirty game. They don't have a problem publishing things about you that are not true in order to, to flip the narrative. There's something here with this person where they realize whoever they were dealing with, they spun the narrative in order to fit their agenda. I don't know why, but they're speaking about it in a very like matter of fact way. Whatever it is, your person had proof that there was a lot of lies and deceit going on around them from the people that were they that, that they were meant to trust the most. That there was deception and that they were betrayed. For some of you, a really close friend of theirs betrayed them. And you may have even warned them. You may have even said to them something like, yeah, there's somebody around you that you need to be very careful of or very be very cognizant of that person's um, agenda because there's something off with that person. For some of you, you didn't say anything, but you knew. 
because you knew that you couldn't say anything to this person because they don't listen. Oh, but now they're listening. Because now they're realizing that there was a lot of people, even their family was fake. I don't know why, but I get that. Like, have you guys, and put it in the comment section, have you ever like looked at one of your cousins or something or and looked at them and you're like, you're the worst one. Like they're the ones asking for money yet turning around talking bad about you. It's something here with this person where they learn something that somebody was saying in order to keep them stuck in a negative energy. And this is something that has been hidden from them for a period of time. This is something that was hidden from them back um, last January. Something occurred last January with this person that they didn't know about. There was a lot of lies being spread about you and why you're successful and why you are what you are but guess what justice is here so justice illuminated the negativity justice brought to the forefront what was really being hidden why does this person want to call the collective because now they know it wasn't you now that's why they feel foolish that's why they feel foolish. See, this makes a lot of sense now. Because I'm like, why are they feeling foolish all of a sudden? Yeah, they lost the collective. But the funny thing about the, that foolish energy, I'm like, no. There's something very deep rooted about that foolish energy that they felt like whatever they heard or whatever they did, the reason that they were acting out was because there was something in particular that stopped them from giving to you the way that they were meant to give to you. And this is somebody that feels very guilty and very foolish for allowing the, uh, the, the opinion of others to dictate the narrative of your connection. Woo. I get like, I'm, you know, I'm doing this reading and I'm getting like an energy of I'm mad. I'm not sad. I'm not glad. But I'm mad. Like this person is hot. Like they're angry. Like if I was any of the people that were in this person's life, that were trying to um, change, change the change the viewpoint of this person and, and actually physically did, I would get out the way because this person is angry. They, they are, I just get, because I'm even trying to explain it and I'm stuttering. That's how frustrated, it's almost like, you know, that, um, that point in A League of Their Own where Tom Hanks is trying to tell the girl how she jacked up but not make her cry and not cuss her out. It's like that type of energy where this person is so angry that they can't even articulate the way like their their emotions. They're so angry because they feel like they're going to snap. I wouldn't be surprised if any crazy wands comes out because this person is really, really angry in this connection to a cups. It could have even been um, a mother that was talking to them. What did I say? I would not be surprised if any wands come out. They're upset. They're upset because whoever this this empress is in reverse, okay, this could be a mother of a child. It could be uh, a Libra or a Taurus, or this could be somebody that was lying even about a pregnancy to try to keep your person stuck in place. But this is somebody that portrayed to love them, portrayed to have their best interests at heart, but they didn't. They lied. Think about the Empress in reverse. That's a cold piece. So your person is angry. They're angry also too because there was something here that was taken from them. Think about the Empress. The Empress grows. The Empress in reverse. It, it, something died because there was an investment here that didn't have the ability to get off the ground because there was a lot of lies and deceit. Imagine thinking that you're growing something with somebody and they're, they're like, yeah, I'm taking care of it. I'm watering it. I'm pruning it. I'm doing it. Come to find out. It's like you, you come back and everything is dead. It's like whatever this empress in reverse was discussing with your person, it's a lie. And now your person is angry because they feel like they sacrificed you or they sacrificed their heart for a lie. To keep them stuck stagnant. This could even be been a family. Like multiple people are involved here. Trying to control your person. This even may be like um, a karmic energy. That went to this person's family. Or their family. In order to try to control this person. But guess what? The star is here. 
So your person is like, I don't care. I'll, I'll be by myself. This is somebody that now is seeing through all everything. This is somebody that's removed themselves from some type of energy. And it's like, I, I don't have time to deal with this. But it's crazy because this empress is the one that had this person in the hangman. So remember I was talking about that hangman energy of what's being sacrificed. It's this empress. If it's not a physical person, it's something that this person was trying to, something from this person's past that they were holding on to that they needed to let go of, but they couldn't. They're letting go of it. They're cutting it loose with the queen of swords. And your person right now is in a very ruthless energy. Like, I would not want to be this person's enemy right now. Like, even talking about it is making me nervous. Because they don't, there, there's a level of low tolerance when it comes to your, um, your love. Like, they do not give a you-know-what. This is somebody that is, 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 like, ready to fight. With that five of wands, twin flame is at the bottom. Let's go ahead and get into the 3D version or the extended of the reading. But this is somebody that's angry because they're acknowledging the bad intentions. They're acknowledging the gossip. Now they're realizing that they're against time. They're realizing whatever they heard about you is wrong. How does this person viewing their connection with the collective? But this needed to happen. King of Wands. Oh, I know that's right. Oh, now, now they're, you see, the funny thing about the King of Wands is the King of Wands is a little, it's, it's a little slow to get going, right? Think about the King of the Jungle. The lion's just sitting there chilling for a period of time till finally they do have to get up and they do have to handle their business. So this person is very focused, but there's also, again, a sense of intensity pertaining to this individual. How are they viewing themselves, their role in this connection with the collective? The world. Yeah, and the world wanted to come up in reverse. So this is somebody that, again, with this world energy here, it's a lot of fixed energy. This person, even though it's fixed, I heard, I'm going to come in and fix it. I'm going to come in and show you that, you know, I am your world. I'm going to come in and make things right. Because, see, the world is a sense of completion. Remember, the empress is three. The empress is in reverse. The world is also three. So there's something here about completing a cycle with the toxic feminine energy. And it even could be a man that's in a feminine energy, like a man that's super gossipy. You're in a feminine energy, my friend. Like you're acting like a female. A man that's arguing with women constantly, you're in your feminine energy, my friend. So whatever your person was dealing with, there was a feminine energy in play, masculine or feminine, a male or female, flip it how it goes. But there was somebody that was being real petty and they got caught up. And how do they view the collective in this connection? Temperance. See, your energy is one that created a sense of alchemy. You changed this person. But they also know the thing about the thing about temperance that nobody knows about is it takes the divine feminine and the divine masculine, the emperor and the empress, and it strips it of all of its negative qualities and it merges it into one. All of the positive energy, right? That's what's happening here. That's what your person is viewing. They're viewing you as somebody that's taking the negative and merging it into a positive energy. What is the um what is blocking this connection? What does your person feel the collective person feel like is blocking the connection? Okay, tarot reader wanted to come out. Confession. All right. I'm telling you, there's something here that this person needs to tell you about that for a while they were in denial about. And this is something that they've been anticipating for a period of time. And I'm also going to throw this tarot reader. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This, this extended is going to be amazing because finally, um, we're seeing the progression of exactly what's going on here. So even in this blocked energy, they were denying your connection because they heard something. So what I want to find out in the extended is what did they hear that from a reader, there could have been a reader that they had gone to or there was a reader that said something or somebody that was manipulating the energy pertaining to your connection. Ooh, this is going to be a juicy one. Okay, let's keep going. 
Oh, by the way, all of this is going to be available in the extended. We have four more cards to pull. The link for that will be in the comment section, but it's dope because it's a deep dive into your person's psyche, into exactly what is going on and how they're viewing things at this very moment. It's not a 5D energy. So if this reading does resonate, it's like a personal reading because it's a smaller number of people that actually purchase the extended. All right, let's see. This card's in reverse. I do not like. All right, what is this person thinking about heavily when it comes to the collective? The Ten of Cups. Yeah, they miss you. They want to be with you. They're, they're fantasizing about this life with you after they have this usher's confession that they need to tell you about. Um, I just heard what's done in the dark is always going to come to light. So as long as you've kept your vibration high and you didn't go down to that lower vibration, you're going to be vindicated. That's that world energy. Um, and what is this? Um, can you show me, please? What is their next action towards the collective? Strength. They're going to come forward. Look at this. You and them are going to have some type of very intense with justice some type of very intense conversation. There is a conversation coming in that's going to set the scales straight for the two of you. And what is this person hiding from the collective? I want to know what that conversation is so bad. Show me. What is this conversation coming in with, with, the, with the, the collective and this person? What is the conversation? Wow, look at this. Reconciliation. You can't. You can't stop what, what God has made for you. Like people, people don't understand that. You can only interfere for so long, but eventually God is going to come in and make things right. And if you are meant for this person, if you are right for this person, then God is going to make sure that you get what you deserve, that, 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 that you have what is divinely owed to you. That's the crazy thing here about this person is like they purposely tried to interfere with with what god has has divinely orchestrated for the both of you show me what is the collective's advice here when it comes to this person magnetism wow a magnet force uh, surrounds you you're being given the power to manifest your dreams all right and then i'm going to put that here with this crystal ball it's time to see your life and it's limitless potential without seeing through rose-tinted glasses. Clarity. All right, my loves. This is your reading. Thank you so much for all of your support. I truly appreciate you more than words can express. For those of you guys that are coming over to Vimeo, simply click on the link in the comment section below and it will take you right to Vimeo.